بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فاروق حسن از بیک ود اے برانڈ نیو ایپیسوڈ اف سکائی از دی لیمٹ ود اے برانڈ نیو گیسٹ ویوز دیر واز اے ٹائم ان پاکستان وین دی انٹری اف فیمیلز انٹو پالیٹکس واز ناٹ دیٹ کامن دین دیٹ متھ واز بروکن اینڈ وی ہیڈ این انفلکس اف یگ پارلیمنٹیرینس دیز یگ پارلیمنٹیرینس ہیو بین سرونگ پاکستان via national assembly or provincial assemblies for some time now i am honored to be here with the special assistant to prime minister uh, and this is just one of her, one of the feathers in her cap she is also the vice president of the young parliamentary forum and she is the convener of the national parliamentary task force on sustainable development goals hails from gujranwala has been with PMLN for quite some time and a very very gentle thoroughly well bred soul we are honored to be with Romina Khurshid Alam assalam alaikum romina wa alaikum assalam such a pleasure to talk to you always thank you and i'm so humbled with your kind words and i must tell that romina is also an alumni of uh, national defense university um she's done national security workshop national media workshop and we interact on different forums so uh, you know there are a lot of questions that i always wanted to ask but now that you are with me i got the chance to ask them yeah. so ravina let's start from the basics okay. okay so you were born and bred in gujranwala yeah. if i'm not yeah. mistaken yeah. right and uh, so you must be a hardcore foodie then no 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 not Look, at this all is, this goes <laughs> without saying like everyone no. from gujranwala has to be a foodie no i'm not i'm not i i'm not so such You're a big fan Uh, maybe uh, yes that's true okay no one in your family is a foodie no no they, uh, everyone uh, must be like now i have a very small family so my elder daughter and uh, uh, yeah my kids love food yeah, and yeah. yeah but i you're not that fond no, of no, 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 you I'm eat not. whatever is yeah it's available. i'm a simple uh, in food like i can go for the simple food and not such a meat lover i'm mostly i'm little bit surprised when people ask like and the same question that oh you're from gujranwala and you don't like food much but it's not that i don't like food i like food but i don't i can't have so much meat meatish type of food you know uh, like chiras like uh, what the usually people call yeah. that so i can't even imagine that how one can eat small sparrow and butera and, and butera and all that fun so okay okay i'm not that so so but the myth is correct huh? the gujranwala mm-hmm. people from gujranwala yeah. are foodies hardcore yeah. foodies in fact from lahore as well i think every city has Everything. Yeah. Okay, great. So, uh, Ramina, c- c- could you tell us a bit about your early childhood? Like, uh, where did you go to school and uh, how was your early childhood? Okay, well, uh, my early childhood was not uh, like that other children uh, used to have. Like, I was just three when my parents got separated. So, I was being brought up with my grandparents. Um, I, and uh, I was being quite lucky. Khurshid Alam was my grandfather's name. so i'm still i'm the first granddaughter of the family and uh, uh, i'm thanks to god it's all the grace of god that uh, he used to love me a lot and his name is with me still and um, i you can like for the childhood it was um, i don't know it's it was not like other children because i didn't get the chance to play so much with the, with my friends or like you know that i don't have that uh, quite good memories of childhood okay. because of course i was a single child i don't have any siblings i and i was being grown up in uh, like with so many elders then i was being asthmatic of course i've been gotten some you know that when so you must have matured before time yeah that's uh, that's true very... yeah and i've learned a lot from my grandfather about pakistan so um, i don't have any regrets but yes i don't have such a beautiful sort of the memories of the childhood of like you know to being a very pampered uh, child or being uh, uh, of course uh, my grandfather my family uh, grandparents uh, my uh, chachu he used to love me a lot still he, i'm sure he must mm. be uh, he must love me but uh, mm. yeah so i didn't have that much good childhood memories good or bad i don't know but yeah a pragmatic child yes you can say It that and like I, i i'm very blessed with my school 
Um, uh, other way around as well, I've always said that I'm the blessed child. Uh, I used to be a blessed child. Uh, my uh, early schooling, all the schooling, would, because I believe whatever I am today is just because of my school, and that was St. Peter's English High School. Then I've been grown up as I was being a single child, so I was not being over pampered. Uh, I've always been learned to do anything, everything, and there was not any, you know, brand conscious bacha or playing with this and you can't do this. Like these sort of things were not there. There was not any that you can one can going to treat you in a very special way. So, um, like I, I've got uh, learning of almost I've learned or mostly the skills. Uh, like I always laugh and I said that I can cob a shoe, I can make a chair, I can cut hair, and <laughs> I can cook food. Okay. Like in Urdu, mostly is in a mochiyo se leke naiyo tak. So you can say that. Okay. Like in Urdu, it gives little spice to the words. But yeah. yeah. I can do different things and I've been into, um, and then life is on and on. Were and you good in studies? Pardon? Were you good in studies? Uh, like were you a topper or in the top three? I think being a topper, well, uh, I, that is something, uh, I think now if I'll say that will, I don't know, maybe it could be a little biased towards me, but yes, Alhamdulillah, I was being fine in everything. I'm very good. I don't believe in the toppers or not toppers. It's not, even if to my children, I never, never, force them or ask them or push them towards being topper because I only believe in one thing, give your best and leave the rest. Wow, okay. <laughs> and how about sports? Were you good oh, in sports? I love sports. Uh, I love sports still. Uh, like now I love golf. I love I love to... Oh, you play golf? Yes, wow. I do play golf. Oh, okay. And uh, that's one of my favorite nowadays because when I feel I've lost my focus, so then I try to go, but now it's little long that I've not been playing. Uh, I've not uh, be, uh, got a chance to go and play. But yes, I love sports. I love uh, riding. I love uh, watching polo. I love football. Like okay. sports is life. And this is something you picked up in the school, right? Uh, yeah. Early years and then all the extracurricular activities. I was so good in that. And um, you must be a good debater also. Uh, actor as well. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know that side. All right. Okay. <laughs> Acting, singing. Uh, I love all the extracurricular activities. You love arts. Yes, yes I, I, I'm an arts all, person. All forms of arts. Yes. Oh, okay. Art. Okay, great. So then you did your matriculation from St. Peter's? Yeah, I've done that and then it's been on and I believe the life is um, somehow never been so easy for me and I think uh, it doesn't matter, Hassan, what you have done or what you have not done because it's more important that what you, what, you know, how you uh, learn from your experiences. So I believe when somebody asks me that uh, what's education and all that, I always smile and I said, I think still I'm learning and learning has no end and doesn't matter because, you know, uh, this is something which maybe uh, pe for people or maybe for you it's a bit uh, surprising, but I've, I have saw highly educated people but illiterate and highly illiterate people but more educated yeah, rather so than some knowledge literates. alone yes. is nothing. You yeah, know, you need yeah. to have a practical so, exposure. And, and that I've learned in this passage of life. Oh, okay, okay. So, which college did you go to? Um, I like the world is a college, and I'm still in the college. Wow. And oh, I okay. want to be still. <laughs> okay. I want to be still in the college. Okay. So, did you? How did you get into manage to get into politics? Like, it's a very difficult. Well, thing. Um, it's not from. Uh, it wouldn't like. As I don't have any political background, mm -hmm. I, I don't have any political um, affiliation, like in a way of, uh, like usually people think that, you know, maybe some relative, maybe some uncle, uncle father, father and all that. Family, so yeah. no one from my side, there was no one in the politics and uh, uh, I'm the first one. Um, but uh, I like... I got married, uh, I was very young when I got married, then I've been uh, into different things, I've served in Dubai, I've worked with one uh, company, then I came back. Then, then you've done different jobs. Yes, different jobs, but the most... Uh, totally non-political. Yeah, totally non-political, and then I was being a CEO of a music promoters company from uh, that was in Dubai, that I was... Um, uh, that was a very good experience where I loved a lot about arts and music, uh, music and so much more. So I worked with them as well. Then I came back uh, uh, and I was being, I served in the city school system as well. I was being a teacher there. I worked with what the Bloomfield. Did you teach? I'm a Montessori trained teacher and I oh. love to do that. Yes, and it was the most because I think that was something where uh, the thirst of, you know, of uh, that missing childhood side, yeah. I've. Uh, 
uh, yeah, that it was, was amazing. That yes, was that that was amazing thing which I've done. So I was being into the in that way. Then I was being in uh, uh, after that schooling thing, like teaching. I uh, thought that I think I have I can do more. Uh, teaching is something which needs your hundred yeah. percent and I was little unable to give that my hundred percent so I switched towards myself towards business then I was into a great social networking um, my area of field you can as I've told you that anything I can do alhamdulillah I'm a multitask person and that is a great all that's the grace of Almighty so uh, I was into different things and that time I was being approached uh, this I'm talking about 2000 uh, like you can say I've joined politics in 2005 but not okay. that very professionally but in 2006 7 like I was being affiliation like you know you you must start liking some party political party and because my grandfather and our family they used to like PMLN so you you were in Dubai you came back to Pakistan I just went for a while you just went for a while and then you were in Pakistan doing yeah. different jobs like yeah. with a school yes. teaching yeah. and everything everything and did you have any political aspirations or were you a political observer or a political student science of a political science no of political I was science? not I'll be very honest you I was totally not, aloof. Uh, not totally aloof I've never been aloof I, I always like it's you not kept a track of what's yes, happening yeah well, I always try to be aware mm. what's happening and I want to be well known what's going around because of course when you're in business you need to have all the know-hows what's going on what's going off what's in what's out uh -huh. so that is something which uh, because I believe being a totally loop is something you know which I, it's not yes. my type yeah yeah so I was dealing with that so then um, I have started my own business and then when I've been uh, in uh, I, of course I like because I have lots of clients of mine which have been very much towards this uh, political party so uh, then what business was that uh, it was a different sort of a things I was dealing but that was I was in the beauty field and then I was into the clothing and different Whoa. sort of a things like I love to do the things and um, I think that you was the You love to be busy. I'm a workaholic. You're a workaholic. Yeah, so okay. I think that is something which will I can explain in uh, okay. next uh, uh, time. So in uh, uh, that way, I was being approached in 2007 uh, to become the president of uh, Minority Wing, mm -hmm. which I said like it's a bit, little bit tough because... In Gujranwala? Yeah, in Gujranwala. And who uh, approached you? Um, of course, our that senior leadership of the party, uh, there was a MPA of our uh, Shazia, um, Matu Saib, Shazia Farid Saiba. Shazia Farid. Yeah, uh, but, and then after she was already in the party yeah, PMLN, she, and of course, she, she was an MPA nice parliamentarian. Yes. yes. And she was she, your client. And, and then, one day and she came and she said, yeah. "You are very social." Because that time, they, uh, no, it was not that that uh, they said that because of course the our political party have this uh, style of working that they are in. Uh, they uh, go for the track of the person who is coming. Mm -hmm. And that time, of course, uh, they were looking forward at Maria Bibi was uh, like you know uh, very freshly she. Joined and, I, and uh, then Madam Nuzat Sadiq who is the president of the uh, Women, Women Wing, Wing. she yeah. is an amazing woman she is the one who brought me again that first it was the Shazia Farid Sahiba uh, so how did it start she just approached you and she said that you know why are you doing this business or no no job, it was not know? that why you are doing business huh. they said that you should people a woman like you should join because it's important because your vision is very clear and Pakistan needs uh, the people like who can work, who can deliver, and that who are passionate. Yes. Uh, so did you yeah. discuss with anyone that? Uh, yeah, of course, I've discussed. No, no, I didn't have grad. My grandfather passed away very when I was okay. like 10, 11. I unfortunately I couldn't get much time with my grandfather. Oh, okay. I wish I could have. Then my might be the life was different. But yeah, he was no more. Like uh, uh, he passed away in 87, okay. and uh, I was quite young. That so who time. was your mentor or your guide mm. or your confidant? In, that in you <laughs> Life itself give you very much confidence. Okay. So I, I think it's um, and the mentor. If the like from the childhood, one thing which I've learned from my grandfather and uh, my popo and family that we used to pray a lot. Like you know, family, we, whatever happened, you need to. So I, as I was alone, and for everything, like you know, if the test is some test is coming, some um, issue in the class, something I'm feeling scared of it. I just remember that I just go and uh, no, uh, bow my knees and you know just start doing the prayer and that. That's it and I think that's the only thing which has made me strong and give me the confidence no one else can give you that 
which got the uh, spiritual yeah, feeling that, that, that connection or maybe I, I always said that I'm special because those who don't have parents or anyone I think God is always with them of course so um, uh, there were so many it, uh, in, even incident happened which like I've been lucky that I've been saved and still I'm alive like once I got fired um, once there was a snake and I, somehow I, I don't know you how, stepped on a snake no I didn't step on a snake I, I just kept my hand and I, then I just felt that something you know happened and it just like uh, it moved moved and then uh, yeah this was at your place at your house at, at my, my my home that time I was okay. yeah, very young and then once I got whole fire on my back and oh I was just God. like running and then in the school no no at that also happened in the home yeah. that uh, fire I got it's from quite the an heater. exciting child <laughs> I must say that I don't know but yeah it happened <laughs> so I've been safe and then uh, there were a few other incidents but yeah. yes then uh, so then in 2008, uh, 7 and 8, I was uh, being So 2005 asked, she approached you for... No, no, it's not 2005, I said that I start like, you know, uh, liking... Thinking about then, it. Th not thinking about it, you know, you joined some, you feel that, okay, there's some parties doing something and I do understand uh, or uh, you could understand their vision, so I was liking them. So I've joined in a way, like if any program or event was happening, I used to go and something yeah. in a way. Yeah. but. I, as a member, or uh, becoming a member in a in uh, or oh, office no, barrier, yeah. no, no, office barrier. Oh, okay. That that was something of your party. That yeah. was that happened in two thousand seven and eight. That time I was um, uh, been uh, from the party side. I was being uh, given the duty of I become the general secretary of the. Yeah, film, you the became union. the general secretary of the youth women wing, wing of PMLN and yes. the chief coordinator of the prime minister youth. That program. happened in that when I uh, in two thousand thirteen when I. That was selected. in 2013. So yeah. first you became the general secretary of the... And office. I served. So okay. I, it's not like that anyone can say that, oh, one golden day someone came you and... You got they rewarded become, yeah. for your work. Yeah. So I've done, uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, me and my team, there was that time I got a small team. That uh, team name was Tuba, Ishfaq and Rehan. There were two people. We have decided to do different things. Uh, and we have done a, a properly we, a provide to, you know, uh, to bring the youth in. So we have done different events, very successful. Uh, and then other than that, we have done pretty good activities to engage the youth. And uh, of course, so the party youth was in general, or were you looking at a specific target audience no, of no, like the minority wing? No, 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 no. I believe in equality because okay. I believe I if you are a citizen of Pakistan, yes, you are, a you are an equal. So yes. that what religion is, that's yours. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's your person. Kaidi Azam also said. Yeah. 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 So only person, uh, you know, if uh, Farooq will ask me uh, that uh, to whom I visualize, um, or uh, I because I used to heard a lot about Kaidi yeah. uh, from my grandfather. Uh -huh. so so I heard a lot about him and uh, when on the 23rd March or on uh, 14th August, my grandfather, like, you know, it was very fascinating to watch that uh, activities and that ceremonies. So I still remember I used to ask my grandfather that when you, because he was a retired army officer, so I really admire his uniform and I asked, used to ask him that when you going to take me to this uh, march or, you know, the ceremony. So. Um, when you know they they give the god of honor so he always used to say one day you'll go and i you never would have thought yeah, yeah. and you remember that uh, in ndu uh, when we go to karachi yes. and the first god of honor we uh, received uh, that was there uh, and i was just in tears mausoleum. because that's yeah. something i wish uh, or desire in childhood and he used to say that one day you will go yeah, and see if you aim for something yeah. if you wish for something yeah. and you Dare have to the dream. sincerity yeah, <laughs> yeah. God so, and now recently when I went uh, that was also very uh, emotional sort of a me time for me Allah has been so kind I have no words I'm no one to say that but uh, Alhamdulillah Allah has been so kind that I, when I went this time to Karachi I got like I was alone and I got the mm. God of God of honor, yes. oh. You're one talented person, I must say that you've, you're, you know, you've really worked yourself up, yeah. uh, you know, through sheer hard work and, you know, you've, you've contributed a lot. Uh, and then I think it's the political, uh, of course, my leadership, Madam Maryam Nawaz Sharif, who uh, had that belief that, yes, I can uh, do something. And it's so she was, she's your teacher in politics? Yes, you can say. So she's the one uh, uh, who gave this... Uh, in inspired a way, inspired you. inspired, inspired you can say, and other than inspired, she always give the forum to work because she has a belief 
you know something if someone is get if you get inspired from someone that's a separate thing but if someone have a believe in you that yes you can do it you have that uh, courage you have that capacity to do it so i i always feel with i always say this with very pride that yes i am her found well, okay mm -hmm. so you joined politics you were heading in the, you were you became the general secretary of the women wing and then what happened? How did you progress in the party? That was a start, right? Okay. You did a lot of hard work. You engaged the youth. You motivated the youth. The senior management, the senior leadership of the party noticed you. And they decided to give you the laptop scheme and make you the coordinator. Is, is that how it happened? Uh, well, first, of course, uh, when it was the time of uh, applying, uh, of course, the leadership asked me. And because uh, uh, I must say their eyes were on me, they, they have all the know-how, what's happening, what I'm doing. It's not that, you know, usually people th say that, that, oh, their leadership doesn't know. But it was not like that. My leadership was very vigilant. They have an eye that what I'm doing. And of course, Madam Nuzat Sadiq was, uh, also. Uh, so they uh, asked me to apply and then I came into the national parliament. Of course, that was a huge forum uh, for, for a person like me and I learned a lot. And then when I came across to know that I've been given the responsibility of uh, the to become the chief coordinator for the lap, laptop and fee reimbursement yeah. uh, scheme of course prime then, minister youth yes, program prime minister youth program so it was somewhere where i got a direct chance to work with the leadership and that was a new program at 2000, yes, 2013 yes, it was yes, initiated, initiated and it was a, something of a, you know a novel concept yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. so it all happened and i tried to uh, put my wholeheartedly efforts in, in, in that and I worked and then I was not the only that then I was being uh, uh, made the parliamentary secretary for climate change as I worked very passionately uh, Mr. Mushaidullah uh, yeah, yeah. Saab, Senator oh, Mushaidullah yeah, Senator yeah. Mushaidullah may God, Saab, bless may God bless his soul he was an amazing amazing person who gave me a huge forum to work and to do whatever I can do. So what I want to do and not only that I've been so lucky Farooq Allah has been so kind for me uh, that what wherever I wanted to work, I think where there's a world, there is a way. If you if you believe in yourself and you want to do, Allah makes the ways easy for you. Great, great. So, <clears throat> how would you say has your journey been from 2007 or 6 when you entered politics till now? And it's been about 15 years now. I'm sure there are a lot of young girls, young Pakistani girls who are watching you. How would you inspire them to come into politics, serve Pakistan, and make Pakistan a better place to live in? Well, uh, as in uh, this question has two aspects, right? If you go into the personal uh, life of mine, so it's a roller coaster, right? It goes like this, and so many big changes, like uh, in these ten years, in these two terms. Uh, but if you ask me in the political way or where how I can inspire the people, I don't know wh how to in like how I should say that I want to inspire them or maybe I can ex inspire or not. But what I can share that is my own journey, and I believe that when the day I have joined uh, the parliament, I have gone through with my all uh, books of parliament which I have got the mm -hmm. Constitution of Pakistan. To be very honest, Farooq, I came across to know that, wow, how blessed I am, or the citizens of Pakistan. But we need to know our uh, rights, which Constitution of Pakistan gives us. And then what the authority as a member of a parliament I'm having and uh, how many things uh, I can do. So once there was a question, someone asked me that, Rumina, do you think so the politicians are the good actors? And I said, actually, the politicians are a very, very good actors because they are the one no matter what, they they are going through with the hell in their they lives. Hide their yeah, they hide their feelings, feelings and, and they bring try to bring the joy. They want to or they don't want to. But at the minute they enter to their constituency, they become very much into uh, like you know they indulge in, in into that uh, situation of the people and they try to bring the joy. They try to uh, uh, bear that or uh, that grief you know with, with the people so I think why not so same goes with this that I want to say to the ladies or to the girl or to the woman of Pakistan that they have to believe first in themselves first they need to know how to fight for their own right mm -hmm. or how to take up their rights one two 
And three is the thing that Pakistan is one of the blessed country. I don't say that whole globe is very good and Pakistan, picture of Pakistan is very bling bling and uh, very Bleed shiny. Them, yeah, yeah. yeah, but still Pakistan is Alhamdulillah far better, far better from other, con other developed countries. Why I'm saying that? Like I've got a chance to go to the USA, UK, Europe, so many other countries. But the number of the seats of Pakistan, women reserve seat, is more in Pakistan. The equal wages issue, Pakistan is far better on that. Like Pakistani women, if they're CSS officer, of course you are also uh, uh, doing uh, from long time uh, working in the banking sector and other. Yeah, you yeah. know that the women are also getting the equal yeah, yeah, yeah. wages, but not in another developed country. Still the women are fighting so much. And we have, we although we say that, um, uh, I'm sure most of the people will not gonna uh, say that what I'm saying is right for them, but what I've practiced, I'm talking about myself that I, it's not that what I wanted to do the way are very easy. But if you have a vision, if you have a will, and things will get tremendously easy for you. And if you have faith on Allah, and you ask Him, yeah, nothing is no impossible. wonder can be... Uh, if you have the passion, absolutely, yes. very well said, and the will, yeah. uh, nothing so, is impossible yes. for that matter. And women in Pakistan are now, mashallah, so empowered. I'm so, I, it makes me so happy to actually see the, the whole uh, diagram, the whole uh, you know, picture of the National Assembly has changed now. You, you can see so many female parliamentarians, so heartening. And the other thing that you mentioned, uh, Ruina, absolutely, because Pakistan is on that uh, you know, growth stage, that developing stage, and there's a lot of room for improvement. So that's why you get so much talent which comes up and you know, contributes. Uh, in developed countries, there's very less space or room to mm -hmm. grow because they've already reached that stage. So we are, since it's a journey, uh, you know, that, and we have so much talent in Pakistan, absolutely. But, and and uh, sorry, Farooq, I just wanted to add one thing, that the developed countries, they do, maybe uh, the room is so small, I don't think so, still so much need to be done. You know, and the parliament is a forum where when you entered, you can do wonders. You can go through with the research, you, like I, I try to do so many things and alhamdulillah when you get the research you get the things you you get your uh, space by yourself yeah you yeah. have to prove it and it's not in politics it's in every, every field, field. Every field. in every field yeah. and this is only our approach who like this place is right or this place is wrong i don't think so every place is right i think it's all in your brain if your brain is going towards negativity you will think everything yeah. is negative so you need to stay <laughs> positive and think positive Viewers, we are in conversation with Ramina Khushid Alam, a special assistant to Prime Minister. She's also a parliamentarian. Uh, we're going to take a short break, but once we come back from the break, now that uh, we've made Ramina enter politics, we're going to ask her what she actually did when she came in the parliament, what was her role and what contributions has she made. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back viewers, uh, Farooq Kassan is back with uh, Sky the Limit. We are in conversation with Ramina Khurshid Alam, Special Assistant to Prime Minister. Uh, Ramina, before I go on to some serious stuff, uh, there are one or two questions that were missed. Who are your friends in the political circle? Who do you hang out with? Who do you feel comfortable with? Uh, I have uh, good friends, like um, I'm, uh, and very. I have a different relations, and friends like they. These friends are more than like a family to me. So although um, I respect all, and I'm being attached with all, but in politically, if you can ask, uh, now they are not like a political friends. They are mm -hmm. like a family okay. because as I've been through some rough part of my life, so they were. They are the ones who stood so beside me, oh, okay. not only beside me, with me emotionally, physically, in all the ways. So now so, the time to give them the <laughs> accolades and acknowledge them. So well, uh, of course, I would really like to take the name of Shazia Marie uh, and uh, Kurutul and Marie. They both both sisters are amazing. Shazia Marie, who's now heading at the, at the PIS. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So she poverty and, Ministry of Poverty yes, Elevation yes, and, and uh, Social her, Safety. And her younger sister Kurutul and Marie. You know uh, them from before or from the parliament? No, no, from the parliament. And they are from a different party. Huh? Yes. They are from, from Pakistan People's Party. Yes. Wow. 
So awesome. we are, they like, um, she is always there as like an elder sister, elder friend, and uh, to guide, to help. Even a few times I was not well, so they were like, as I said that a like sister. Shazia Marie um, and her sister, and then um, Shaista Parvez Malik Saiba, she's always been um, like a motherly figure, but more uh, a friend, uh, a person who is very supportive, Shaza Fatma Khwaja, Aisha Raza Farooq. I have a huge list. Mariam, of course, Mariam Aurangzeb, but now, of course, she's very much busy. And uh, we have learned a lot together, like MDGs, now they becomes the SDGs. Mm. So then uh, from other parties, like I have friends from all the parties. I have no you issues. You never like, discriminate. Yeah, uh, I never discriminated uh, uh, with anyone or, oh, this is, and same, like, you know, we have not learned this thing from our party. Our party has never asked us not to meet others, not to greet others. Like, it's never been, there was been no lines were being drawn for us to not to meet and greet, you know. So, I have great friends. friends like So, now more of the time, like me and Shaza, we're working together. Um, uh, that's because you also have a background in the youth program. So, yeah. maybe, so, uh, because that Shaza is also, now heading that. Yeah, and other than that, because in the last time as well, we were in the uh, YPF, she was a general secretary, I was a media coordinator. So, you know, these sort of a things. So, I believe like other than uh, that as well like we have our male colleagues as well who are very nice uh, we are working together so I never have any issues oh. everyone is very much friendly even not the parliament our pol political people the people who are working uh, in the areas of ours in the parliament in the surrounding of parliament uh, they are very like and I never have any issues uh, to go and ask someone who is uh, in like in on any post you know, usually people think, because I believe as being a parliamentarian, it's not that I'm the expert or I'm some superwoman who knows everything. Anyone can teach you anything. Yeah, so I okay. never feel shy to go to anyone and to ask that, oh, uh, but can you please tell me or guide me? I don't have issues. So that? I yeah. have all the relations with all parties, like either it's BAP, either it's uh, People's Party. No, either no, no, it's, I've uh, seen you. I, yeah, I've so seen you in I, I, also, yeah, you know, yeah, you would hang I out with everyone. Issues, yeah. That's good. I think one need to be nice because today we, where we are, we are, tomorrow we don't know. Yeah. So I don't want to be remembered as a black spot or someone. I just wanted to be remembered that, okay, I've done something, maybe little. Because, Humility is yeah. the key to success. Yeah, yeah and that, that is also one of the firman of Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. peace be upon. So, so yes. do you get, I'm sure, I don't know, I'm, uh, you're a very busy person, but whatever little free time, if you get, if you get, what do you do in that? What do you prefer doing in that? No, I get uh, most of the time free time. Okay, uh, so what do you time. do? Hang out with I, friends, uh, listen no, to music? Cook, I, cook. I'm not that social, uh, Farooq. Like, I do like to hang out with friends, but usually, uh, whatever I, if I got the time, I get the time, I do poetry, I write. Um, I love to listen music. I love to uh, uh, my uh, my middle one daughter nowadays. She also gone. So I used to spend little time with her. And as I'm a single mother, so I used to spend little time with her. Whenever we got, we used to go like with her. I used to go somewhere on the weekend um, or maybe with. If something is you have planned. two daughters, right? I have two daughters and one son. One son. Yeah. Uh, so sure. then I have uh, one another very nice friend. She is, um, I used to work uh, with them, like in the Ministry of the Climate Change. Uh, Farzana Al Tafsha Saiba. Her kids are also very much like one is doctor, one is working in the oil engineering company. So, like, you know, it's more like a family. So, uh, all my friends are more like, so they own me like a family. I love to own them as well, more than mm. a family. Mm. So, um, in that free time, one, I like to write, to listen to music. Write as in? Poetry. Oh, I do poetry, Okay. Yes. So, do I you have any book out? Uh, it's, uh, hopefully it's in it the process. Come. Yes. Wow. Two, one is, I've done the translation of Iqbal's poetry. Is it romantic poetry, English. political poetry? No, no, I don't, <laughs> political is nothing. <laughs> I believe uh, as being a poet, uh, it's, I don't know it's a poet, I'm a poet or not, but I think I just love to put my feelings into you the You want words. to express your feelings yeah. through uh, one your thing, pen. I don't know, it was, I don't say it political, but that was that I wrote for Kashmir. And one thing from where I start back writing, because it, when I was uh, in my teenage, that time I used to write, but that I've missed somewhere, that uh, written material. But then afterwards, uh, I start writing, but that started from uh, on Kashmir. I've wrote some one poem on Kashmir and another one on uh, on relations on on a woman, 
Oh, okay. Very yeah, good. So, so you write and what do you, what it's else do you poetry, do? poetry. I, I write, listen to music, uh, spend a little good time uh, with me time, myself, okay. Okay. and prayers. I love to be in that way where I feel uh, the calmness. Connected the with peace. God. Peace, yeah. And I love it. I love because. Uh, Very good. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> okay, so uh, now coming on uh, to a bit of serious stuff. So, as a parliament, you, this is your second term, right? Uh, what uh, contribution have you done towards legislation? Like, what kind of bills have you been involved in, you know, getting them passed or? What work have you done in that respect? Uh, well, you know, uh, Farooq, uh, one thing I really wanted to bring in, not only in your notice to the other uh, yeah. people as well, like I uh, believe a lot in the research. I believe uh, to dig out the things, to work in a way. So I, uh, like previously in the last term, we have worked on the transgender, not an individual. I tried to bring few things as individual. That was that we wanted to come up with a commission on, uh, on the minority education. One, two, uh, uh, we have come up with the legislation on the transgender uh, and on different sort of a things in which I tried to put myself in and still now. And I think now it's more important because we are heavily, heavily legislated. So moreover, when I talk about the SDGs, so um, we want to um, I, like engage myself more into it. But in the previous time as well, we have been, got the huge success to do the International uh, Conference on Kashmir. International Conference on SAC Youth Parliamentarians. You arranged that? Yes. Uh, I have, have a great contribution, alhamdulillah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've been a part of that, those things, along with my friends as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then when we talk about the transgenders, then we have done a huge things on uh, uh, minorities as well. We tried to, uh, I was the first ever one who went to the EU Parliament and I've spoken with them that when they used to uh, uh, you know, put the resolutions against Pakistan on 295C. So, you know, we have discussions on that. Then other than that, so many things like uh, engagements against of... Women. Uh, sorry? Violence against women. Yes, of course. But, you know, now it's a time more, I believe, that um, in Pakistan, a number of women has increased. So we need to talk more about the gender equality. Mm -hmm. Not always that we need to increase or decrease. I think now it's, I always believe what you want, start talking about that. Mm. Don't like, you know, I don't ask that, okay, this thing need to be done. We need, this is the thing we want to do. So in a way I've uh, tried my, uh, I've been the part of the different standing committees. So Alhamdulillah, I have a huge list uh, of sharing the things, but I think uh, that it's, I can't say that what I have done is too much mm -hmm. because nothing is much. Uh, you have to perform till the last day. Uh, and in my first term as well, when it was the last day of mine that day as being a parliamentary climate change secretary, I was uh, in my ministry along with the UN, uh, one of a delegation, and we have launched the report, the impact of the climate change on the food security. Wow. So I think whatever I've done or I'm doing, maybe it's a needle in a haycock. But at but least... There is it matters a lot. It matters <laughs> a lot. So you are the convener for the National Parliamentary Task Force on Sustainable Development Goals. Mm -hmm. So I'd just like, for the ease of my viewers, I'd just like to explain what are these Sustainable Development Goals and what role do you play as the convener of this National Parliamentary Task Force? Well, uh, Faru, thank you for asking this such important question. I think with the help of uh, you and uh, your channel and this program, uh, this is going to be a great uh, for the viewers. Uh, this is, I think nothing is much more bigger than this agenda. Sustainable development goals. There are 17 goals with 169 targets, one and another most important thing, every goal is connected to another goal, right? Like it's poverty, it's hunger, it's education, it's gender equality, uh, it's climate change, human rights, water below, uh, life water below, like what is not? Everything's come under it. And usually people think that maybe this is some international agenda, which is not. This is our agenda. It's my agenda. It's yours agenda. It's our agenda. So this is something uh, I would really like to appreciate uh, over here, the contribution of the uh, 
uh, previous speaker, Mr. Ayaz Sadiq, mm -hmm. uh, and Maria Morangzeb. They are the ones who uh, initiated that. And Pakistan's parliament, the first ever parliament, was having a proper dedicated secretariat of SDGs. Before that, it was uh, Millennium Development Goals, but now there are SDGs. In that, if you ask my particular role now, I, this is a volunteer job. This is not a paid job. This oh. is whatever you're doing. You know, in the different standing committees, you've got your TA days uh, or uh, allowances. But in this, it's nothing like that. You have to do a proper volunteer work. So I have joined, I have taken this force, a task force as a convener nine months back. Okay. Who was before uh, you? Uh, that was Mr. Riaz Fatiana. Okay. Okay. So in this nine months, everything, uh, you name it, and if you go to our Twitter, if you go to our Instagram, if you go to the NA Parliament you will, uh, website, you will find that we have tried our level best to uh, not only raise the name of Pakistan in a good ways. We went like uh, in South Korea was being invited, uh, in the UN DISA, they've acknowledged the work, IPU acknowledged the work. First ever IPU regional seminar has been done in Pakistan parliament, which was first time. And in that we have spoken like when the floods were there. So we uh, are the ones who invited the international South Asian region parliamentarians. And we, uh, uh, the agenda was to not only sensitize them, to in fact tell them that this, uh, this is the time. Now it's the time. It's now or it's never. Because oh, what's okay. happening in Pakistan, it's not going to stay in Pakistan. It can go on and on. So in that way, we uh, are trying to uh, not and then to uh, uh, build the bridge among the provinces as you know after the 18th amendment so many different like yeah, ministries yeah. have been devolved Devolved. Yeah. so um, Sports, tourism, yeah so culture. what we are doing like recently we have done uh, a week back uh, dialogues a uh, national dialogues on SDGs in which we are uh, which uh, we discussed that and we have invited the local bodies the, the members are from the all provinces and uh, the speakers we have invited and then we have invited the people from the local bodies because if you want to achieve something you have to go to the grassroots level so this is what we're doing and in the pipeline uh, we are uh, going to inshallah uh, the speaker honorable speaker has the uh, because he's the chief patron of that of course so uh, we are planning to host uh, high political forum dialogues on SDGs and on disaster management and then uh, uh, in that light, we are trying to organize, uh, let's hope for the best, and if Allah has given me that much time, to host another uh, Asia-Pacific region um, dialogues uh, and the way forward that how we can strengthen each other uh, in the form of disaster management and the uh, SDGs. Great. So uh, j just one clarification. So th these SDGs, you said there are 17, right? So what is the context? Obviously, I wouldn't expect you to remember all these 17, but what, what, what do they revolve around? If you can just give us a few basic ones. Uh, you see, uh, it's not the revolve around. They yeah. revolve around all the life okay. of living things. Okay. Right? Environment. If you ask me, you know, the general... Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's gender equality. Okay. Woman. Okay. Human rights. Education. Climate. Of course, water. Right? Uh, energy renewable energy okay. and environment, art and culture. And then the 17th one is the partnership, mm. the way forward, right? So this is how we, uh, you know, this all 17 goals work. And th there comes the strategy because, you know, everyone, everywhere in the world, what issues they have. Of course, we have these things and how we can take them, how we can achieve the goals, how we can work with them. So these are the things on which we are working. So, and these are some <coughs> uh, issues which are there forever and we need to actually improvise on them, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, and they're better for obviously any country and specifically Pakistan. Uh, you're also the vice president of the Young Parliamentary Forum, YPF. What do you do in that? Uh, well, uh, this also I got nine months back, uh, mm -hmm. this uh, uh, responsibility. Uh, although uh, it was little back, you can say, because there was, uh, I don't want to go into the political discussion, but okay. yeah. So in that we have designed a program in which uh, I tried to uh, engage, I always try to engage with the youth more because I believe the most important to engage with the youth is to not to teach them or tell them. It's more important to listen then. Mm -hmm. Like in SDGs, Farooq, as well, uh, because these are the both forums we are working together, uh, and most of the ministers are also, I try to have them in, in the volunteer task force as well. Like Shaza is also one of our um, task force member, Madam uh, Mehnaz. 
uh, who's uh, now recently we got another success that we got the Child Right Caucus. That was also the initiate of, uh, by the SDG Secretariat and Pakistan is the fourth country who's having the Child Right Caucus as well. So, you know, it, it, I got 260 so far interns. Oh, wow. And they're from all ages, like from PhD till the grade 12. And all, uh, the all grade, over Pakistan? Uh, age uh, 12. And all over from yeah. all over Pakistan? Yeah, and they ages? love to come. And you know, still, if you go and if you, I would really uh, want someday if you can visit yeah. to the uh, SDG Secretariat, yeah. you will amazed to know that the children or the students who come to the parliament, when they come to SDGs, they want to extend their internships with us. No, they get because interested. I, yeah, not only they're interested, because actually I try to make the uh, f uh, environment for them, like we all, we try to have zero period in which they can ask anything about me. The first day I give them the orientation in a way that what I am, who I am, I am I and what I've done, what I've gone through. I don't hide anything because you know, as being other than as well as a politician, people know everything about you. Mm -hmm. So it's better to be, let's be open and ta talk to the someone that, okay, ask what you want. And you know, when you give the confidence to that to your youth, no matter they're from which political, I never ask anyone their political party, never mm. ever. Mm. We never discuss the, the political bashing or something, who is from who, which party, I don't care. Mm -hmm. My thing is Pakistan, of course, and that we have learned. Uh, that is the learning from my political uh, uh, grooming from the party as mm. well. So we discussed a lot and in that, you know, huge um, thing which I realized, I came to know and the good uh, relations we made, that the missing component, the youth wants to talk. Mm -hmm. But when we, you know, suppress them, when we don't let them talk, of course, then anger and so much things come out. We need to have dialogue. Frustration dialogues. and all. Yes, we need, to, I didn't want to use that word. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, we need to have dialogues with each other. So, uh, in that way, we are, uh, we have planned uh, to come up uh, with the youth ambassadors. Uh, no matter they're from which political party because parliament is parliament and from with the help of IPF we're making them so one and then um, uh, by using this forum and of the forum of the SDGs uh, recently in two universities we have made the proper dedicated SDG secretariats for the youth and one is University of Salkot and then there is one another university I said I think you should so have it in every university for that we matter. are we have already approached yeah. like NUST is also having and all the big uh, state yeah. universities yes. Punjab University so we Karachi have university. reached to uh, every Everyone. So now I think it's from the other side. Like we are open. I'm like I'm ready for everyone. This is a very interesting initiative. So tell me, I mean, if someone wants to join this YPF or wants to have an exposure of the parliament as a student, like I'm in grade eight or grade six, I wish I was. Uh, how do I get go about it? What do I do? Uh, Farooq, you know, um, these forums are for the, of course, the YP forums, uh, like it's young parliamentarian forum. The member, though, those member of the parliament, though, are uh, because the IPU age of youth is 45, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, uh, in that age, those who are under the age of that are by the time of getting elected, so they become the member of that, right? So, okay. the member of the parliament, they, they, had to be um, like the the first thing and the only thing the uh, is that they have to be the member of parliament. So this is the forum of the parliament, right? Okay. So those who want to join, they can come up as the interns, yeah, and they can experience so like how, how yeah, do, like do they apply they, for they, they apply for the internships and like you for the parliament. Website? Yes, the parliament have their website. But other than that, for me, like we have different universities and their schools, they pr uh, approach to us and then we make it happen. Great. How do you see the youth of Pakistan progressing and the contributions they can make towards making Pakistan one of the <coughs> most progressive nations in the world? Uh, this is, yeah, something amazing. You know, uh, Farooq, I love my country. There were so many times when I got a chance to go and live abroad and uh, I think uh, what I felt what I've experienced in my life while going around the globe, the youth of Pakistan is amazing. They are multi-dynamic, they're multi -tasked. Like at one time they can do job, they can do studies, they can do anything, right? So I believe that it's uh, for them, I know it's not easy. The current situations are not easy. But I think, again, I would like to say, where there's a will, there is a way. Like my 20 years old daughter, if she's telling me 
that no matter what, I have to come back. Like her elder sister is in States, her brother is in Canada. And when I said that it's better for you, like because I have few challenges, which maybe uh, for me it's very tough to handle. But she opened again. I thought that I'm listening to my teenage time when I had a fight or arguments with my elders that, and still in the life back, uh, not so long back, but where I said that no, no matter what I want, I love to stay in Pakistan. Yes. So uh, she, what she tell me, 20 years old, she told me that this is my home. Mm. I've been around, like she's a constant traveler and she's earning by herself. Um, she's working, she's studying. When she told me this is my home and I know what to do and she's working, so if a 20 years old girl, it's not, and please, uh, I just want to clarify that it's not that I'm giving her political support. I myself is not maybe sometimes sufficient what I'm earning for myself, like the patch I've gone through. But it's never that in one day you can achieve anything. Mm. If you go for some big brands as well, big, big brands, they have also started from small niche Humble steps. beginnings. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I think these are the things I would really want to say to uh, my youth never ever lose hope and faith mm. whatever today i'm sitting over here and uh, whatever i am trust me there's only one person that's allah almighty mm. and then my belief and my faith that yes i want to achieve when i want something i didn't ask i didn't beg to people i told to one whom we all believe so have faith on him believe and be positive I know people around you are so, like, it's not that I never face hurdles, still I am. But yeah. I think if you think positive, if you yeah. be positive, things will automatically get absolutely. positive. Absolutely. Very well said, Romina. And absolutely, uh, we are, Pakistan is our identity. We yes. are what we are because of Pakistan. Yeah. Have faith in God and, uh, you know, give your best. And inshallah ta'ala, uh, we will uh, succeed in making Pakistan yes. one of the brightest nations in inshallah. the world. I mean, it was an absolute pleasure to talk to you after a long, long time. And Same I man. wish you all the best with all these SDGs. Well, thank you so very much, uh, Farooq. First of all, your name of program is really amazing, Sky is the Limit, which I believe it's, I actually believe. And thank you so very much for PTV World uh, to hosting in such an amazing program. And I'm sure absolute it pleasure. goes, it, it will bring more wonders. Thank you so much. Viewers, that was Rumina Khurshid Alam, Special Assistant to Prime Minister. And I hope you enjoyed the conversation. Inshallah ta'ala, I will see you in another exciting episode of Sky is the Limit with a brand new guest. Till then, Allah Hafiz.